What's up, y'all? It's Tiffany Tony. I'm your host, and you're watching another episode of Lipstick Tea, where we talk about love, life, relationships, drama, whatever else we want to talk about. I would like to introduce my lovely panelists before we get juicy. Juicy. Hello. Oh, hello. I'm Margot Graff. And I'm Michael. I'm D Ran. And I'm Miko Rounds. All right, y'all. So we are going to just jump right into this. We're going to get real juicy real quick. Let's say, hypothetically, you were dating somebody that um, you had been involved with for a couple weeks. You're starting to catch vibes. You're really feeling this person. And then they say, hey, I have something to tell you. And you find out that they are transgender and that they were not honest with you from the beginning. Would that be a deal breaker for you? Or is it something that you would continue to explore? Okay, so you said a couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. To me, that's not lying to me because we're still in the getting to know you phase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't walk up to you the first day and say, hey, um, Tell me if I was sexually started. molested, mm -hmm. hey, I was raped when I was two and I was right. this. You don't do that in the beginning. That's something you get to know. So especially with that type of community and the way that the world looks at it mm -hmm. and like the hate that they receive and different things like that, I wouldn't expect somebody to walk up to me their very first day and be like, hey, I'm transitioning or I have transitioned. This is what it is. But if, in a couple of weeks, if that's a discussion we have, that means they feel comfortable enough with me. We've had this discussion. They see the type of person I am and they want me to see and know the type of person and where they where they came from and who they are. Yeah. So I'd be okay with that. Yeah. What about you? How do you, how would you feel? I want to know off bat. I think uh, certain things... Um, it's not necessarily even about comfortability, it's just out of respect. Mm -hmm. And not necessarily with that, I always think about any any element mm -hmm. where, I, especially in gay like let's say HIV or anything of mm -hmm. that type mm -hmm. of, of anything where you have something that's hold, that you hold dear, you want to give the person the opportunity to be able to take your baggage or not. Mm -hmm. And it is your, and and you should not want to wait until you develop feelings for that person to want to tell them. So I'm yep. the type of person, it don't have to be the first time, right. but within the first three to five times, that needs to have been discussed, it yeah. needs to have been brought up. And, but and, see, that could be two or three weeks if you're going yeah. to date like once or twice. Absolutely. Yeah. That's something that you have, before we start really catching feelings, or before we have sex, or you know, before we get into that point, like I just feel like it should be discussed. Mm -hmm. But it don't have to be like the first time you meet me, yeah. oh yeah, this is what it is. What right, are your thoughts right. on this, Marco? Um, you look so smart. I feel yes. like I, I had to ask you. Um, you know Teach what? I something. feel like, yeah, certain people take a you know, different time to divulge their secrets and their trauma, their their hidden you know, gems that they hold very precious to them until they trust someone. Right. Um, mm -hmm. And I think I'm also transitioning into a period in my relationships where I'm trying to build more trust and friendships that develop into you know, love versus just hopping in, fucking, and then realizing, oh, we're not even friends. Like, yeah. you actually don't even like me as a person. <laughs> so I feel like... <laughs> Been there. I, I, yeah, yeah, like, so do you even times. think I'm funny? No, you don't. So why are we together? That pussy funny, though. <laughs> She's a funniest motherfucker. She's a funny bitch. Um, okay. So I feel That's like... But I also feel like I um, am just very intuitive. I'm very good at reading people in general, and I'm not uh, someone who's judgmental, I, and I um, value open conversations. So if, if, if we were dating for a couple weeks and I, I revealed this secret to you, would you keep seeing I would have known. Oh. Because I'm very intuitive. Yes. Like, I'm very I know good you at feeling people. And also, I will divulge things about myself early on mm -hmm. to see what you're comfortable with divulge manipulation. I want to see how... <laughs> I want to see how vulnerable you will are willing to be by me being that vulnerable. And if I know you're hiding, if I know like that's not something that you're comfortable talking with, then I, I'm very comfortable with my body. And so like I know if you're not comfortable maybe talking about it, there are things that just in relation to your outside appearance that maybe you're not comfortable with. And then I know like sex like that might just not be at the level mm -hmm. that I want to have. Yeah. And so that's so your kind of like it would actually just process. not get to that point because if you can't and are open and willing to, I embarrass myself, I will put it all on the table just to like, that's my flirt. That's my like, 
how I flirt and my pickup lines are me embarrassing myself to make you feel comfortable. So if that doesn't make you feel comfortable enough to have conversations like that with me, I mean, we would probably just be friends and I would be with you on that journey, but... Mikkel, yeah. it looks like your thoughts are ticking. Well, I, th I, think, I think that I would have to kind of keep, leave it in their yeah. court, because like, I know that there are things about myself that I wouldn't just want to throw that. out there. Right. Um, and so I would respect that in them. Now, if it was kind of one of those, like, they tricked me, mm -hmm. then I would have issue right. with it. But Because the, it's like, you've and, already broken my trust right. in a way. What's the yeah. difference? I guess, what, what's the That's difference between uh, somebody tricking you versus them taking their time? I, I think, agree. I think that, that when you, when yeah. you, when you, are taking your time, you you know, we're getting to know each other. Now, um, when you begin to feel that this is probably going to go to a place physically, then you need to have that conversation with So me. it's different for every situation. Like, right. it, like, we all can relate to, we've met someone that we maybe slept with after two weeks, and then another situation exactly. that took two months, yeah. depending on the vibe and the yeah. energy, right? Exactly. I, I so. think you can tell if the person is starting to catch feelings for you, and once a person is starting to catch feelings for you, then they should know. Mm -hmm. It's not something you say, well, they're catching feelings, I'm not, I'm not going to say anything. Or even though they're catching feelings, we're not fucking yet, so it's not their business. If you're allowing me to open up and fall in love with you, if I'm going there with you, then you owe me that respect back to be like, hey, before you just completely jump that cliff, let me know what you're jumping into. For sure, right. absolutely. Yeah, no, I have a big secret that, you know, I you am sometimes nervous to tell people when I start dating them. I'm, I'm not transgender, which I get asked that all the time. <laughs> I'm not offended, but I was a dominatrix. For a while. Really? And so I could see it. I yeah. could see it. <laughs> so so I, I want to explore that world so bad. We'll tie you up. Yes. And so, I you know, too. for a lot of people, when, when I say that, I'm not so quick to just every person that I date just, you know. Yeah, but you're not a dominatrix. 24-7. No. So that's no, no, where no. I Wait, like, you're not anymore. Are you still... Um, I you still haven't practice? in a while. No, I'm not a practicing... Will you still practice? Dominatrix. I'm open to it. Okay. Oh. Yes, that's <laughs> okay. We'll go to the dungeon. Yeah! But, but I mean, for so, like, I've had situations where I'm getting to know someone. I can tell they're really feeling me. I'm starting to catch feelings for them, and I'm like, this is something they should know, because they should... If they're not comfortable with the fact that I was, like, had a whip and slapping people around or that I might Dude. be into that with them, that, that's something they should know. It's kind of a big deal. Well, well. For some people. I'm about to say, because you're not doing it now. That's what it, I'm saying. It don't, I think it would only be important if you feel like you would want to experience that with them. Mm -hmm. Because if, if you're not in that point anymore, if you're not doing it anymore, and you're not even trying to have sex like that, then honestly, it's none of their business yeah. that you did it before. You think I so? Don't, I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Here's why I'm going to give you a little pushback on that. It's because I feel like your past build up, builds up to your present. And um, if... It, let, I'm using the dominatrix things, for example. That means that you have an assertive personality to a certain point. That means there's certain things that you just like in bed. That's what takes that type of personality to do something right. like that. And so, Actually, I was just broke in L.A. <laughs> <laughs> so but I, I enjoyed it. it. I enjoyed it. But when, now, that to me, I, I, the worst thing about for me is being in a relationship and find something that jarring later on. Of course. You know what I mean? Well, but some people don't see it as something that's really yeah, a big deal, I and I think maybe. some people, it really depends, okay, on, depends on the person. On the person. Say, because yeah. wait, yeah. there's a okay, difference well, between dominatrix and prostitution right. and that's sex work. But some people could see it as a sexual, because as sex work. But see, I know, and I, I don't but, consider yeah. it sex work. So would you not it's tell right. people if you were a sex worker in the past? Would you not um, tell people that, that? Well, that's a that's a really good question. See, and that that's different. I feel mm -hmm. like that's something where you actually could have, like... So I'm not going to sit here and say, hey, you know what? I had sex with Stacey, Tracy, Billy yeah. Bob, Joe. Like, right. I'm not, and that's what was before you. And For those sure. could have built up to where I am now. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I feel like that isn't something that's like make or break the relationship we're in. Sex worker or like if you were... If I was a porn star mm -hmm. before, I would have told you because, baby, that tape might come back out. Right. Okay? And that doesn't and, leave yeah. you. And, yeah. that, and that, so that doesn't leave you. And I feel like a sex worker might not leave you either because right. I could be going, I could take you somewhere mm -hmm. and my homeboy could have been the one to smash. Or you yeah. could have run well, into your that's pimp that's somewhere. Like a stripper, like, yeah. Yeah. But I could run into somebody that I... Dominated. Yeah, but that's, that's what I'm saying. And that's what's the difference secret. between you having a very because I have a very sexualized yeah, I mean on one episode we talk about me being right now. I've had a very sexualized past, right? right? Mm -hmm. And so 
My biggest thing is, don't make me look stupid. If mm -hmm. I, I don't ever want to come into a place and you've had experiences mm -hmm. with somebody and I don't know and I'm sitting there laughing see, with them and talking. <laughs> but I've been, in the, I've been on the other end of that though, where like, for example, I was, I was shooting a project and I brought the person I was dating with me to our rehearsal and then I didn't know this other actor that was cast on the project was someone I had slept with like years before. Now mind Did you, you this him? person is married now and nothing, but him and the dude were dapping each other up and getting each other's numbers and stuff before I had the chance to say anything. Baby, so by that exploded. point, I was like, I actually did not know what to do. Like, I had to pull the guy aside that I slept with and say, hey, bro, like, please don't. <laughs> did you tell the person that, that you brought? No, I didn't. And Girl, I, and baby, I feel got really fight. bad about that. Mm -mm. He, he, it never, shit never hit the fan, but it could have, you know? But I just, I didn't know what to do in that situation. Yes. That's I, why if you honest up front, you ain't got to worry about the questions. Well, it was too late. Had, well, what is had, up front? Meaning right. this, meaning this. <laughs> Within the first couple of times, I talked to people about, listen, I've had sex I with... was a hoe. <laughs> I was a hoe. Back in the day. <laughs> you might know. Right so if we run into somebody... To <laughs> so you were, you were never... You do, so you're not gonna have... You don't do lists? You, have you, you ever die. never done... No, that's serious. I mean, you were like an Excel bullshit. spreadsheet. Not, not, like, not like you keep a list in your pocket, but like you and your partner are like, okay... Fuck no. I'm, I'm gonna convince you a pimp. I'm convincing you a Here's my number. What's your number? My number 12. What's your... No, like. Take I that shit to I the grave. I wouldn't want no money. Lie till you die. I'm with Margot. My number is whatever it is. <laughs> I mean, you I'm just curious, you, like, because we always... If they really wanted to know... Do you know it? No, take it to the grave. Because we're always talking about openness in relationships. That's part of openness. But my openness is I don't know. Like, that's just the truth. Well, I don't, then that's your listen, openness. This, I, I don't know. But this but is the thing. Why does that matter? Exactly. What matters today is that I got tested with you. Mm. Baby, I ain't got nothing. They ain't going to exactly. give you nothing, and you good I, to go. And I'm not so talking about that. So let me be clear. I don't feel I'm bad no more. I'm not talking about that. that. I'm just, it, for me, <laughs> it's more like... The matrix is not, like, you're not getting paid to have sex people. You're getting paid to do fetishes on them. I mean, why? I'm talking about it. You're the, yeah. Maybe I it, think it, you've it, done this before too. No, I'm very fascinating. And there's this. <laughs> she knew way too much. She knew. Bondage. I've bonding. seen that. I bonding. love bonding. that. Bonding. Have you seen that bonding? No, it's so good. It it's so good. But I mean, they don't like do anything, you know. But a sexual it's, fantasy, it's though. A so fantasy. it's still it's in the a, same. Just yeah. cause I don't, and here's you're what not I don't, Tiffany. I don't you're playing out their sexual fantasy. And also your dominatrix is like a character you've created. It's like a Marvel character. But if you get in a relationship and this this is the person's past or they have a high number or whatever, I feel like I want to know because now I got to figure out if you're used to people doing gymnastics, I need to stretch. <laughs> <laughs> okay, but this is the point. This is the point. If you're not going to run into the circle of people that I fucked with, fucked with had, had sex with, whatever, then I, if you, the only time you need to know a name or something is if I feel like that person oh, is going to be around. Okay, yes. if you need, other than that, Going you need to know details. names and numbers. Facts. But if you want to yeah. know what I like in bed, I ain't got to say, okay, so Stacy did the splits on my right. show. No, right. I can say, babe, I like strap. somebody that's flat. <laughs> <laughs> you missed it. You missed when we talked about this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I can say I like a girl that's flexible, or I can say, "Bay, I'm flexible." Or but I then, in like my mind, I'm be like, "Well, how she know that? I need to." <laughs> so that's why. Well, yeah. like, how she? How she know yeah, she like that? Yeah, but see, that comes from a place of insecurity. Of, I mean, and not yes. Here, and let me tell you yeah, why. Because that's, that's why problem. I would never. No, I would never. But in this time right now, I would not be married to somebody who's been married before mm. because of comparisons. What you're talking about is comparisons, right. and. That's why I feel. Uh, that's why I feel so strongly about openness and being one hundred percent because I don't like comparisons. Right. That's what's too. the difference between being with someone who's been married before or someone who's been in a long, dis a long term relationship? Right, you don't compare before. no matter what. You yeah. only um, have your first child once, and you'll only have your first marriage once. The feeling I hate to at say. one time. That that because I, you know. Um, it's something about going through going through the trenches together the first time that you can never get rid of that, that right? Yeah, that's true. Mm -hmm. Everybody I know that's been married more than once, they have a different type and of you love and respect for that first, yeah. that yeah. first wife. That well, now, my, 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 now, my mother has got remarried to to my stepfather, but my dad, she can't stand that nigga. And <laughs> it's because they were kids when yes. they got married mm -hmm. and they were completely different people. Mm -hmm. And so my mom's relationship with my stepdad is one of love and respect in a way that my the, her first marriage was not because mm. they were just like we gotta do what we gotta do. My mom had me at 19 and was like, I need security and stability. Yeah. And for now, my, you know, both of your parents. Oh, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. ahead. Were, were both of your um, so your dad married twice or your mom? Married my mom twice? married twice. My dad married three times. Now were both of your parents were their partners of the same race as them? 
or were, did they? But yeah, they were. All, they were all. Ooh. And the, my 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 dad's current wife is biracial, but uh, everyone else is all black on black. Have you guys black. dated outside of your race before, and is it something that you are? open to, interested in? I know we've talked about this before briefly. Um, for the most part, I date melanated beings. Um, I was on a show mm -hmm. where I did meet a lovely young woman, and she is white. Um, she was great, and she definitely opened up my eyes to dating outside of my race, mm -hmm. but outside of her, no. So your preference what? is just the from your experience. Me all now, the time. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Let me ask this question. Really? What's the you difference can. between <laughs> a person's preference and maybe uh, racism or well, discrimination? Well, racism discrimination, that's the word. Mm. That's the right word. Um, What's the difference for you? For me, this is okay, this is the difference. I feel like a lot of people like well, people are always jumping on black men. They be like, oh I don't date. But when they say that they don't date black women, they go straight into the stereotypes of a black woman. Oh, I don't date black women because they loud, because they mm. this, because they agree. that. And I feel like a lot of them have underlying issues with their mother. The ones and I you have shouldn't met. have to put and down a person of a certain race in order to, to justify date, your relationship. Right. relationship. You love, just love woman. who you love, but you don't need to put, like, let's say I've only dated white men. Do I need, I don't need to bash black men to, in right, order to do that. I don't need but to say the bash so? black what, or Asian I women because you, I like black women. The difference for me, honestly, it's just features, like what I'm attracted to. Gotcha. So I've looked at, there are, like like I said in one of the episodes, Ruby Rose, I think she is a beautiful woman. I haven't really just looked at many other women, like Indian women, most of the, like their features, I think they're beautiful. So I think it would just take from what I'm seeing and what I'm attracted to, and then what I'm also in the environment of to meet. So if I'm in an environment where I'm meeting mostly black women and mostly white women, I haven't met a lot of white women that I'm physically attracted to. So it hasn't gone past there. If I'm mm. in an environment where I've met, like I've seen women on TV who I've been like, oh, those are attractive women, but I haven't been in the room with them. So what mm. I've been in the room with, what I'm attracted to is... Usually For me, it's more woman. of a cultural thing. Like, I mean, I've dated women of all races, um, and I've dated men outside of my race as well, but I think there is a different level of comfort when I'm with mm -hmm. a black woman or a black man because they're just unspoken things that, like, if I'm going through, like, that have happened to me based on my experience existence as a black woman that I don't have to explain exactly. and they're able to be there for me in that place of vulnerability without me having to explain why I'm upset or to be worried about if they're going to think that I'm overreacting That's or I'm being irrational right. or the that angry black you know woman exactly moment. and I Can just I play devil's advocate you may so what if a white person had said that they don't date black people mm -hmm. and let me use you guys as mindsets right I don't and say features I don't really like big noses and big lips mm -hmm. right or what if they say for for cultural context the struggle that they go through is just too much for me to even I don't want to deal with that mm -hmm. would that be considered racist I think I would respect it I, I think I would too and it, it's also the terminology you use yes okay. I didn't say I don't like women who don't have lips or something Got like that I didn't you. say that I said okay. when I look at a woman the features that attract me the difference is when I have talked to people like even with this aerial my, that's not my aerial that black aerial thing I feel like other races sometimes tend to be really like angry about things like instead of them just saying they're upset that this woman is a black woman playing supposed to be a white mermaid who's a cartoon character right they so started crazy. drawing images of her with this really large nose a mustache coming off of a watermelon that's not needed no that's, 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 that's hate that's hate yeah. that's, there's a difference i don't walk around saying oh i don't like this woman because she got blonde hair and blue like i'm mm -hmm. not picking out a feature like that it's like literally what i look at what draws it my is attention. truly a preference for you I it's think, not a race i yeah. think for me like because my my current boyfriend is white mm -hmm. and oh i didn't know that this yeah, whole time yeah, he, he's a i'm and it's because and i think for me it's not like oh he's it's because he's white or whatever um because he's the first white person that i've ever dated but it's because I was like, he is willing to understand me. He's willing yeah. to understand my struggles. He's willing to understand why I am the way I am. Mm -hmm. And that's why it works. Mm -hmm. It's because, and you know, and I was, I'm, a, I'm an equal opportunist in terms of attraction. Right. So I was, we were attracted to each other. Yeah. But then I was like, well, he understands that this is not easy to be For sure. in this. Right. So it gives body. you that level of comfort. Yeah. And I'm sorry to cut you off, but I wanted to give you a chance, Margot, to talk about your experience with this really quickly before yeah. we wrap up this show. Um, Are you wrapping it up? Yeah, I know we don't have a lot of time. But, you know what? But have you had experiences yeah, dating different dated, races? And um, how's that been for you? Yeah, I've, I've kind of, I'm not dated them all, but I've dated a mm. lot of different types of men. Um, Have you been with a races? black woman before? 
No, you know what? I haven't. Ooh. Spit the tea. Take no it, wonder you be coming in here all hot and bothered. Uh, <laughs> no wonder. Well, I, you know what? <sighs> God, this really broke my heart, and it's it's sad that this is how I found out about. That. I mean, well, I was dating this um, this guy, and he is mixed, mm-hmm. black and white, and um, he's super light skinned. And we were um, walking somewhere, and we just had to cross some police caution tape because there was like a ground that had sunk and water coming up from it. But we had to get to this comedy show. So we just kind of like ducked around the tape because the front door was on the other side of the tape, and this. Police walked up to us and was like, excuse me, did you not see the tape? I just, where do you think you're going? And we're like, wait, the signs the signs on the comedy store said like that the front door was this. Like, we weren't trying. And he was like, mm-hmm. it didn't matter. And I had never had. The aggression from law I, enforcement like that. I hadn't. And yeah. it, I was like, oh, fuck. Fuck, because a, po- a police officer would have never come up and said right. that if, you were, to me. if it was just you. And yeah. I was like, oh wow. And so it makes me nervous, like that having a child with a black man. Mm-hmm. That Are you afraid would, that you wouldn't really know how to be that there? I, I for, would not be able. I already yeah. feel like the trauma that has happened to me, and I've had my life handed. You know, my dad has, and mom have all four. Of my parents, my parents, parents already married, have really given me all of the best experiences that you know they have had to offer, and mm-hmm. they still could not protect me from certain things. And so it makes me really nervous yeah. as I think about. Being a for parent being to a, a black parent child makes me terrified because I yeah. that's something that I wasn't educated on because yeah. I, I had the privilege of not having to worry about that. So, yeah. thank man. you for um, being <laughs> transparent about that, and I think crazy. a lot of people can that's probably relate day. to that Absolutely. for sure. And I also have you, dated, know. you know black men who have children, and mm. I don't feel like they also look at me as sometimes an, a, a real partner because I'm I'm not a, a black woman that knows mm. the struggle. So it's. It's really. Um, but the good thing is you you're around us now, so you're gonna have some opportunities to learn. And <laughs> oh, I've been learning. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I just want to thank you guys so much for watching. I know this was a short episode, but I feel like it was some some juicy content. We're and gonna we have to forward. come back too. Yes, we're gonna come back to some of these topics. For Please sure. leave us your comments, questions, concerns. Slide in our DMs Please. respectfully, of course. Please respectfully. Or disrespectfully. You can just me. knock on mine. Don't need to. Don't need a slide. Just be polite about it. All right, y'all. I'm Tiffany Tony. You can find me on Instagram at Tiffany underscore Tony underscore TV. Like the boxer, y'all. <laughs> My name is uh, Margot Graff. You can find me at It's Margot Graff. M A R G O. What you see is what you get. Graff, like graffiti, but without the T T, baby. You can find me on all social media platforms at Official Michael. That's Official M Y K E L L. MySpace. <laughs> I actually do have a MySpace. <laughs> I, I did a whole series on MySpace, oh, and so God. that's why I'm we on We need there. to drink that up. Um, y'all can find me on IG at Miko underscore rounds. Can she go you around? can find me on all social media platforms under DRAN Anderson or DRANANderson.com, and that's D-E-E-R-A-N. All right, y'all. We'll see you next time. Behave in the meantime. Or don't. I like that. Or don't. <laughs>